Sir, sir, Mr. Meyer, excuse me, sir. Exactly 30 minutes. Wise move. I hope you get wise and get ready for good music. Good. Haven't I danced enough? Because quite frankly, your music is beginning to suck. Or oh, does it? Yes, 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 boss. I mean, for more than seven years now, I've been under your manipulative power and you have controlled my every action. I'm wondering, how long are you going to keep putting up this action? Because quite frankly, I'm wondering, don't you ever get tired? Or maybe I'm tired. Tired of this, I'm happily married man. I love my family bullshit. It's either we get this thing done with, or I take this to a whole new miserable no turning back level. Brooks, I'm sorry, I can't. Oh yes you will. Listen, I'm not gonna marry you secretly. For Christ's sakes, I'm a happily married man. Don't you get it? I don't get it. You have a blood possession in my custody. Your son, our son. Don't you think little Jason needs some family love? Oh come on, God himself knows I've invested my best in my son. Oh no, you haven't done enough. Except for your misguided desire in wanting me for a marital partner. Mayor, take this as a little added advice. Take me to the altar or face a public annunciation of your true family. Brooks, are you threatening me? I can't help telling you that I have a reputation to build. I have a line of wasp waiting to sting at any time. And should you get stung, I am not to blame. I'm threatening you, Mayor. Oh, yes, I am. Nobody seems to know where you go to these days. And nowhere are you coming from looking like a tramp. Do you have a problem with my going out and coming in or what's this all about? It's about trust. Trust, Jasmine. It's like a mirror. Easily mended when it's broken, but the cracks never hide. I haven't heard you sound like this in a long time, Steve. What's going on? Isn't it funny how celebrities get wrecked by those they hold close to your hearts? They whisper in dark corners and smile and look they smile so big that you could devour their prey. Jasmine, you lie to me. And if you lie to me, you do not respect me. And if you do not respect me, then you do not love me, Jasmine. Jasmine, I'm going to ask you this question and you're going to give me definite answers. Take a look at that letter and tell me who's the man who's been sniffing on my so called fiance's underwear. Baby, I don't know where this is coming from. I'm only getting to see for the first time. What is this? This is no debate! I'm going to cut a line so we know exactly where we stand. I'm going up and I'll be back in 30 minutes. And if I do not get straight answers by the time I come back, we're going to be picking our brains on MCQs on whether this tomorrow thing is going to happen. This is ridiculous. C'est pas possible. I mean, is that what Nick did? Whilst we were at the pub, having fun, playing pool, he had the guts to go to your house and sniff your wife's pants. Dave, it's such a shame what Nick did. Yes, it is. It's a damn shame. But I can show you one thing that is not over yet. I mean, wherever or whenever I see that guy, we're gonna pick up from there. I'm, I'm, I'm really appalled. Girl, aunt. I mean... But Dave, um... Uh, can I ask you a favor? Huh? Yeah, you know, that guy put a dent in my plans and I need a replacement. I wanted to ask you to be my best man. <laughs> uh, 
Are you serious? No. You see, it's like fate brought you here. This thing is originally for you. That's, it's, you came at the right moment. Come on, man. Accept this. <laughs> Steve, are you, what do you think the answer is? Of course it's a yes. Well, what do you think? Oh, come on, man. Come on, you give a brother a scare like that. Don't give a brother a scare like that anymore, man. Come on. Why would you do that? I mean, hey, I'll do anything. Oh, come yeah, on, anything for you. That we do. Man, you never change. You know that. Like, I come in here and I get this very familiar fragrance. Like, like it, this, it's, it's a female fragrance and I seem to know it from somewhere. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> what are you... I'm a single man. What do you expect? I, I'm still good looking. And girls come in here. I mean, back and forth, different fragrances. I mean, different perfumes. What do you expect? Come on. <laughs> Davido, come on.